bang, 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 bang. Now you get away and stop filming. Bang. G'day everyone, Matt Elder of Family Bricks here, and welcome to vlog number one. I thought I'd give this a try. I've been inspired by a few other people who've been doing it lately, and so here we are. I'm going to try to do it in one sort of takes, and it won't be as slick and polished as some of the other videos on the channel. So I guess the thing is, what can you expect? Just want to look at some more, I guess, behind the scenes, or maybe just day-to-day -day sort of bits and pieces that we're doing in and around LEGO and things like that. So you might find this is a little bit all over the place in terms of background and scenery in the car. Just leave for the kids so you can go and pick them up. Today's Friday. It's actually started to rain, which is good, because then I'm less worried about the vegetables and fruit trees and things and having to water them because it has been quite dry, funnily enough, in England, but last little bit it's been raining. Tonight I'm on the stream with London Bridge Bricks. I'm still just trying to decide what I'm actually going to build, whether I'm going to do a Statue of Liberty or I've also got a Power Up Functions 4x4, which I've been meaning to do for a while. have to see what we do with that one. Now in terms of the vlog, let me know if you like this, don't like it, what you'd like to see more content of, or what's what's of interest to you guys out there. So Friday night and we just had the London Calling, which is a stream with London Bridge Bricks, and I was working on the 4x4 Extreme Buggy, got through the first bag. I think most things are in a good spot and working, should be good, can't really tell, it's got motors there until you've finished and put it together, but it was nice, number of bags there. Still got the Batmobile to finish. Been doing that with, with the kids. So basically just got to put the wheels on that. London Bridge Bricks and they got to 501 subscribers, which is cool. Also had on there Solo Brick Builder, Sarah Star Bricks, Generic Stud and Bricking It. And it looks like Sarah Star Bricks has also set up a Discord. That's going to be great just to be able to chat to everyone in between and find out who else is streaming. No sound here as I don't want the music to get me pinged on YouTube. <laughs> It's great the kids are starting to get into Harry Potter just as Lego ramping up another wave of Harry Potter goodness and releasing some sets and they're able to get into it and build it and play it out as well. Okay, what set do we have here? And what part do you think is going to be the best? Maybe that. Or that. Shall we get building? Yeah. Who's that? Hagrid. And what is he? A bird. Or you could call him Snow Yellow. Harry Potter and... What was that again? I think I can't remember. I can't remember. I'll tell you that I know about. So that's why you were screaming your head off. Ah, those birds were screaming then. Can I go show mommy? Then try to shut it up, will you? Ah! <laughs> Building the Batmobile bag 23 out of 24 and the thing that hub caps on. Which for these, these tiny wheels is very tricky to do. Mm. Bye. It needs some, you know, it might need somebody to Bye, Mommy. Hi. I'm sugar. Da. Ha. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Now you get away and stop filming. Bang. During homeschooling, there's been a project to do monuments and famous places around London and things, and you had to build them. So we've done a Tudor house. Then we had St. Paul's Cathedral and HMS Belfast. And then finally, a rebricked Buckingham Palace. Usually with these, the kids would get set the assignment in the morning to, you know, build one of these. Usually they're thinking like cardboard or something like that, or just little arts and crafts. So being Lego, we'd just go through and do it with these. And that was, of course, in amongst all their other schooling and maths and reading and everything they had to do each day. So And then have it submitted by the end of the day. So it's been good, but it's been challenging. So I'll be glad when it's all done. The Belfast have actually uh, put instructions up online for that and there should be a video for it and St Paul's Cathedral at some stage I want to do much the same but I really wasn't happy with the way some of the windows in the side got done 
So that just felt a little undercooked. Even the front facade, there's lots of other ways you want to go through and rejig that. Did you just watch? Monkey King Kid Monkey King That's good The Monkey Kid got the staff and defeated the um, giant person in the end Not as that He defeated him It was very good Expelliarmus! Bah! Hogwarts. I'm pointing my wand at you. <laughs> no, it's a disarm charm. Did I forget to mention we're doing spelly on this and leg lock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's spelly armor. <laughs> Another Harry Potter film and really getting into the mythology. Yay! Both kids are back at school. School's in for three weeks. For anyone who's out there homeschooling, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's been an interesting time having them at homeschooling, at least now you've got a much better idea of what they actually do during their school days. And I think too, with ours, also identified possibly a few little blind spots that they had, so being able to address that. But I guess the idea of uh, homeschooling them for six months and sailing around the world has just gone out the window, because, yeah, it's a tough gig. Later tonight, got London Affles online, and around the video you'll be able to see what makes a great meet, where we did an interview with the founded Richard Selby, because it really is really good. I guess because London's got such a large population, you've got some incredibly talented builders. There's another link for Kaz Mocket, who has some of her stuff being on display in the Lego house in Billund, which I believe has just recently reopened. And then also to have another interview with Neil Marsden, who is amazing with digital Lego and some of the stuff that he does. So have that tonight and hopefully they'll be all good. Set up for the London Virtual AFOL meeting and have a Taj Mahal set so I can raid for parts and just be building and use for ideas. So we just had our monthly London AFOL meeting, which this month's theme was Habitats for Minifigs. Never been huge into minifigs. Uh, so I just decided to do a polar bear type one. So he's there, just got a fish looking into the water, somewhat in a, a little cave or something there with the little icicles and things at the top. So it was a great meetup and everybody was doing some really cool stuff. So I think I'll call this the week that was Tuesday, so four teas, taking after something from one of the college days. Beginning of lockdown, we started a veggie garden. So this is all grown from little tiny plants in the last little bit. So we got spinach, broad beans, lettuce, and some cauliflower. And a few others over here, which you also put in. But they don't seem to be doing as well. Tomatoes being challenging. I think we started off with 15 and down to about three. Don't know if it's the weather or the soil or whatever. Really a green thumb. Wild strawberry, broad bean, garlic, and some other normal strawberry plants that you can see the birds have been into as well. And some blueberry plants, same deal. Planted them a couple of months ago and they're a little tiny and they're all getting up there. And a pear tree that we planted a couple of years ago. Looks like it's got some pears. Actually quite a number are going to be coming through. And a plum tree we also planted a couple of years ago. So it looks like we'll get a few off there. This will be the first season they come through. And a little tiny peach tree we planted at the beginning of lockdown. Looks like we're going to get some peaches off it, which is really surprising. So, must be doing well. Another type of little 
plum tree we planted at the beginning of lockdown and pretty much all of the the green from about here upwards it's all grown in the last couple of months 10 weeks and a small little cherry tree we also put in at the beginning of lockdown 10 12 weeks ago and sort of see from about here up that's all shot up that's all the new shoots in the last little bit so hopefully also doing well too and some apples coming through on the apple tree which we believe these trees are about 80 or 90 years old when this was used to be an orchard before it was subdivided but the thing you notice with these in particular is they're really really sour but i think it's just because of the modern palette particularly in the 1980s they went through and made apples super sweet whereas these ones are not so sweet and i think we're just our palates have adapted to it so it's all relative let me know what you thought of this what bits did you like or the bits that you didn't like things that you'd like to see more of the channel itself we've always said is lego and lifestyle we got given lockdown we haven't really been able to focus on it in the last three months and certainly we noticed once lockdown first started a lot of the lifestyle videos about theme parks and everything like that dropped off a cliff so hopefully as things start to reopen up we'll be able to get back and do a bit more of that content for anybody who's new and has never seen that before so I hope you had a great week and if you did enjoy this video hit that like button and hopefully you can get to maybe 20 likes on this video and for those who haven't seen some of the lifestyle type content we do here's a link to legoland windsor and you go through the whole park in about three minutes with a bit of a commentary otherwise here are some other videos you might be interested in until next time when we talk about all things lego and lifestyle